President Biden invited congressional leaders from his party to the White House today to strategize about their top priorities. The showdown over the debt limit is looming in Congress, with Republicans in the House adamant about spending cuts. Plus, we're now learning documents containing classified markings were discovered at the home of former Vice President Mike Pence. Rich Edson reports from Washington. I'm excited about the leadership we have here on the Democratic side. President Biden hosted top congressional Democrats at the White House Tuesday for a strategy session. We, we got a lot done in the last couple of years, and we got a lot more to do, a lot more to finish, what we've already done. Republicans control one chamber of Congress, meaning Democrats' top agenda items will likely stall for the next two years. One area where they'll need to find cooperation? Raising the debt limit to avoid a default. A default means interest rates will spike on everything, from car loans to credit cards to mortgages. Conservatives on Capitol Hill are demanding significant spending cuts. Our debt is intergenerational theft. We are digging a hole so deep for, for our children, for our grandchildren, and they'll never be able to get out of it. And to my House GOP colleagues, if you're serious about spending cuts, show us the math. Meanwhile, with criticism over President Biden's handling of classified documents, Fox News is now learning documents that appear to have classified markings were discovered at former Vice President Mike Pence's house in Indiana. In a letter to the National Archives, Pence's representative wrote the vice president was unaware of their existence and, quote, stands ready and willing to cooperate fully with the National Archives and any appropriate inquiry. I don't believe for a minute that Mike... Pence is trying to intentionally compromise, compromise national security. I think that about Biden and Trump, but clearly we've got a problem here. The FBI and Justice Department are reviewing the documents. In Washington, Rich Edson, Fox News.